We are joined now on our GMA soccer field. Give it up for our crew. Come on, come on. It's like we're on the field. Great job, crew. Yeah. A hell of a backdrop. I'm going to feel guilty leaving with this. <laughs> Actors Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney, who are the new owners of Welsh football club Wrexham AFC. And they're going to share the whole experience. It's a new docuseries called Wrexham. You owned a soccer club. Uh, I we mean, have to call it football. We football, it football, excuse me, yes. excuse me, football, yes. I'm football. Not offended. I'm not offended. <laughs> Let me ask you, Mr. Strahan, with multiple, multiple years as mm -hmm. a football star, why the hell do they call it football in the United States? No one touches the ball with their foot. Well, there's Whoa. one person. <laughs> there's one person. <laughs> and a kicker. There's two people. Two people. Well, 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 okay, right. And we, we just decided to take it. Yeah. <laughs> we just took it. It's so rude. It was easy to say. Yeah. Think about it. How did this happen? It, this guy is the reason it happened. He called me and said, let's do this absolutely insane thing. And you hadn't met before? No. no. What? No, no, we hadn't met. We, we were friends via text. He slid into my DMs one day. Sure did. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. Hey, don't look. You're next. <laughs> right? <laughs> Sliding in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a pitch for Stephanopoulos later, later this afternoon. Yeah, right. Yeah. We'll see. It used to be an elevator pitch. Now it's a DM. <laughs> but I'm just curious, Rob, for you, what did your what was your family's reaction when you said, I bought a soccer team? Sure. <laughs> I mean, I I, I I spoke with my wife about it before we mm. we, we really made the uh, the decision to, to move forward and, and she was very excited. She what? knew she knew it was my dream. Um, I mean, any, I'm a sports fanatic, and I think any yeah. sports fanatic's uh, dream, especially if you can't play any sports, like yeah. I, I couldn't, I didn't have your size, or your size, or your talent, uh, and so. What's <laughs> up, <that> Mike? <laughs> <laughs> and I just, um, it was always something that I was, um, that, that I dreamt of doing, and then I saw this tremendous opportunity. And, but you and didn't know, Ryan, you didn't even know soccer that well. No. No, no, no. We, no. we didn't know anything about the sport. Now. It, we're obsessed with it. It is a living, breathing, screaming nightmare for me. But, but, but <laughs> All the live long day. And it went to, it, we're going to call it football. Yes, I mean, thank you. Call it football, okay? But Ryan, what was your reaction at home when you told your family, I, I just bought a football team? Well, first off, well, let's back the truck up. I would not, I would not just buy a team and then tell uh, my <laughs> wife. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't make unilateral decisions on milk. So, uh, no, I, we talked about it. We, she saw some of the things that the blind spots that I didn't see, and I mm -hmm. saw some of the other blind spots, and you know, we sort of gamed it out. And to a certain degree, it's a gambit. I mean, a, a huge part of this thing is a it's the it's it's one of the greatest things that's ever happened to me and genuinely one of the worst like i love now love this sport so much that i hate it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well so, that was one of the things that was yeah. that, that's most important to us is that you know as a sports fan um I, I, i've been watching american football hockey basketball mm -hmm. i'm from philadelphia and those are my teams mm -hmm. And, um, and I've always tried to indoctrinate more and more people who think watching sports are not for them. And what you, what you learn very early on and what I try to expose to, to teach the people is that's not really about what happens on the field. It's that you get invested in the players, yep. you get invested in, in, in the people of the community who you're sharing those experiences with. And that's why I believe sports are for everybody because it's just storytelling. It's context it too. It's just the context is everything, right? I mean, it's like so much of the sports we watch in America are about what does this person overcome to get to the place that they're yeah. in. Yeah. And that's what draws us in. It's like Rob's saying, all of that storytelling there, and our show focuses on the Wrexham community as much as it does the club, and it does, as much as it does our experience trying or attempting to run this club, having no previous experience. It, it's often it. said that sport is a microcosm of society. Yeah. And it, and it truly is. Yeah. Let's give everybody a look. I lost my patience with it for so long ago <laughs> that I had to check out of it completely, and I just appreciate you guys. This is why Sean wanted to do it over Zoom, is he, he wanted to see your angry, scrunched up, sad little face, Rob, blossom into a smile. <laughs> Having the oldest international football stadium on the planet under our stewardship is like both elation and weirdly, I can feel an ulcer growing. <laughs> and Ryan, what have you learned about Rob from this experience? I, I think Rob and I balance each other out really well. You know, Rob has, uh, Rob is extremely passionate. He gets fired up. And I tend to be very kind of always Canadian about it, very diplomatic, very, <laughs> let's just, okay, let's, let's have a sober second thought about this, guys, and let's figure it out. So he's kind of, 
shown, I, I think I've, what I've learned from him is that I can be, you know, Canadians have a tendency to like be so nice they make ice cream look like capital murder. My <laughs> challenge <laughs> is to be a little bit more aggressive sometimes with this. And Rob's really kind of taught, taught me to sort of embrace that, that side of myself. And it's, and it's really helped the club move forward, I think, for me at least. So. And, and so Rob, what about you with Ryan? Oh, I learned that as promised, he's he's exactly who you want him to be. And I was a fan of his for 20 years, and he just seems like the kindest, um, most honest and, and full of integrity person. He truly is, and he's just a great friend and a great business partner. You say so much is about Rex and the community. How have they taken you in? Well, I, it's, <laughs> it's a terrifying. We, we have been so respectful all the way through the process, recognizing exactly what our place is. You know, as 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 an American and a Canadian coming into their community, we 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 recognize that we had to tread very lightly. And the history is insane. Mm -hmm. the The stadium which we just purchased was originally built when Thomas Jefferson was the president of the United States. Oh, to give wow. you to give you an idea of wow. it's, it the, is, it's the oldest international the oldest football stadium. International stadiums football stadiums on the planet. So take, having stewardship of that is a serious uh, responsibility. I mean, you know, and, and the thing that I think has been our kind of our secret to this is just being brutally honest with the entire mm. with the com community and the whole process. We th that community has forgotten more about football in the last 10 minutes than we will ever know. And we recognize that going in. We love building and building businesses. And part of doing that is being able to say, I don't know mm. when it counts and being wow. able to turn over and surrender power and authority to people who have a better and stronger perspective on that. So sure. that's been the secret sauce in this. That's the key to ownership. Stay out of the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> hire, hire people who know what they're yeah. doing and get out of the way. Oh. We, your passion is so evident. And also, thank you for sharing your vulnerability yeah. about it as well. I oh, appreciate sure. that. Thank you. And thank you for calling Ryan an athlete. <laughs> yeah. 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 We, we, we did do Rock and Jock together over 20 years. I've, ago. Known, yeah. I've known Strahan for over 20 years now. Yeah. What, what was his rock? Rock well, he, and he, he, Yeah, he helped us win. It was like Rock and Jock. We played at the Super Bowl, you know, celebrities yeah. uh -huh. and athletes. Yeah, we played together. He I, was on Michael hit me once, and I actually I spat out my whole ribcage. <laughs> which is crazy, because I didn't know that you could do that. I didn't know the jaw could unhinge that way, and it just it did. And, it, and honestly, I haven't missed it. Uh, so I'm say, everything Rob said about Ryan is true. Uh, Everything he, you think he is is what he is. And I always appreciate the friendship. <laughs> And, 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 and I have just so much respect for both of you yeah. and what you're doing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks. Thank you so yeah, much. You and new us. episodes of FX Welcome to Wrexham Air Wednesdays, 10 p.m. Eastern and Pacific on FX and stream the next day on Hulu. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.